and that's it. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Behind me is a 2004 Toyota Sienna with a bad blower motor. Listen to this thing. Turn the heat on. Super noisy. You look at our new blower motor, you can see there's three fasteners. One, two, three, and then our electrical connector. Seems easy enough. What's crazy is book time is two hours to replace this thing. So if you take it to a shop, most likely they're gonna charge you two hours worth of labor. That could be $200 or more you can save by doing this yourself. So we wanna make our way underneath the glove box. And you can see two of our three fasteners, one here, one here. The third one is behind this. Not only does this get in the way of our fastener, it also gets in the way of our motor coming down. First thing we'll do while we're down here is disconnect our electrical connector. Push on the tab on the side and pull down. There we go. Now let's go back up top. On the side here is a little black holder. We just wanna pop that out. Then on the top, we wanna to pinch the two sides in and it'll slide down and then we just pull it out. Just like that, everything can stay inside. Just has little claws that slide in and pop it out. So how we get that duct out of the way, it's right here in the front. This is all one piece right here. We don't have to remove it completely. We just have to get it down and out of the way enough. There's a little retainer right here we can pop out just with a flathead screwdriver. Let me set the camera up so I can work with two hands. We just wanna pop that out and this whole thing can move out of the way enough for us. All right, now we just work this out with the flathead screwdriver. You can just twist the screwdriver behind the whole flap and slowly work that out. There we go. Now this piece here is flexible, so we can move it just a little. And we just wanna pop that down. There we go, and out. So you can see it moves there nice and free. Now we don't have to pull this out completely, just down, just like that, that's it. So now let's hop back under. Now the fasteners are an eight millimeter. One, two, now hold it for the third. There we go. We'll just pull it out, move this out of the way. And that's it. Then we'll slide in our new one. There we go. Perfect fit. Get a couple fasteners in here. Get those snugged up. Now they don't have to be too tight, just good and snug. All right, now we'll plug it in. We're done down here. Let's go back up top and put this duck back in place. It can help if we get our retainer clip out all the way. Then we just make sure that this is still in its spot in that direction. We'll pop this back around. There we go. Then we'll put our little clip back in. Now it's up to you to put this back in or not. Uh, it technically doesn't necessarily need it, but it was in there. So then we just take our screwdriver and push on the head, to get that back in. Boom, bada bing. That's in, nice. Now let's put our glove box back in. All right, we'll just set this back in. Here we go. Now this can extend out. We'll just extend it, snap it back in place, and then this should just push in, and that's it. Should be all set and good to go. Now we'll turn our fan on, make sure the noise is gone. Nice. Perfect, job complete. All right, that's it, just a quick little bypass. Not quite sure why the book time is two hours, but by pulling off that one little clip, moving that duck down, you can have this job done in less than a half an hour for sure. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, see you on the next one.